Hello Figaholics friends. This afternoon again we're taking a look at another Portuguese fig. This variety is called Ava Bibiera. Try to say that three times um, quickly. I have a hard time saying it one time quickly. Um, I believe it's the same thing as Babera Prata. Um, the lady that had owned this tree passed away um, a few years ago an original mother tree down in the San Diego area, Point Loma area. Um, she, she passed away and the home was sold and I can, unfortunately we hear too often um, the new owner didn't care for figs or didn't know what they were would be missing and they removed the tree. Um, this is a medium to large size fig. Um, sometimes it's not as early as this for me. I'm kind of surprised with other figs being later this year. This actually seems to be a bit early for me. Um, I know there's some ripe ones in here. Let me find one here. Well, I see one on the other side. Very productive. Um, it does produce Breba figs. Um, I guess I shouldn't use Breba and figs together to say Breba fruit. Oh, oh, here's a good ripe one here in this large. Okay. So, um, I think for commercial purposes, um, some people think that cracks are terrible. They're attractive to some people. I'm kind of indifferent, but it's a good indicator of the ripeness. You know, it's fairly soft. It probably could have gone another day or two, but we're here today, and so let's give it a try. Very chewy. Um, Moderate sweetness and moderate berry flavor. I'd say also it's a figgy flavor we use as a term sometimes. Um, I think that's fairly accurate for this fig. Um, you know, the tree is moderately vigorous for us. Um, it's grown well. Um, I prune it again, like all my trees, for cutting. Here's a this here's when it started to dry on the tree. It's been pecked on the bird on that by a bird on that side, but it's starting to dry on the tree. It might be spoiled. Let me give it a try. Nope, it's good. I can't eat all of these. I just see if I can find another. That one's been pecked by a bird. Oh, here's a, a good one. I think. You can tell it starts to get bluish a little bit. Good fig. Um, you know, people ask me often, oh, what's my two favorite figs? And I can't think I even come up with my favorite 50 figs. So um, this is one that I think is special to me because of the history came from Madeira, Portugal, where my grandparents came from. You know, uh, my grandparent, my grandmother, my grandfather died before I was born. My grandmother really never talked about figs um, back in Madeira, and I think that she was in a higher elevation where um, maybe figs weren't so commonly grown. But my grandfather did plant a fig tree, but I think probably a, a local fig here. But... Um, because of it coming from Madeira, which I visited in 2004, I like to grow uh, Madeira figs, and this is one of them. Thanks for watching.